Howdy guys. Welcome back to Stoneyard Griddle. Tonight, uh, it's Saturday night. I'm going to be doing salmon fillets, asparagus, and we're just going to throw some rice on quick to uh, basically just to kind of warm it up, crisp it up a little bit, and we're going to see what happens. It's my first time trying a uh, Drying fish, well, salmon anyway. I've done shrimp and stuff. You guys have seen that, I think. But we're going to give it a shot. So stay tuned and uh, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to put down is a little bit of oil. We've got our griddle preheated. Pretty warm. Now that we're preheated, we're going to turn all the way down. to get our oil spread out a little bit. And we're going to throw our asparagus on first. Fish tends to cook pretty quick, so as little as I do know about uh, about cooking fish on a flat top, I know that in a pan it goes pretty fast, so I can't imagine this is going to be much different, and if it is, well, lesson learned, huh? So we'll put that down, a little bit of garlic over it. Just for starters. And one trick that I do is I take butter and I cut it up into pieces, you know, that size. And I stick it in the freezer because that way it's like, you you know, you can just grab it with your hand and your hand doesn't get all messy. And I just put that down. Obviously, the heat from the, from the flat top will uh, melt that up nicely pretty quickly. And uh, we'll get that going. And of course, we're going to kind of get these. I don't mind my asparagus a little bit. I hate to say the word, but I don't mind it a little bit soggy. I know a lot of people like some good snap to it, but I kind of don't mind it a, a little bit soggy. I don't want to like have a completely limp piece of asparagus. That's just terrible. So we're just going to go ahead and really basically season these things up with salt and pepper. And get them tossed around a bit. And if as we progress, I feel like the heat is a little too much, I can always cut it down. I don't like the look of this asparagus right there. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that guy. Toss it in the backyard. Maybe the dog will run after it, although she's not a huge fan of vegetables. So coming up, we've got, I am going to put, this is just butter and probably, I don't know, six or seven cloves of garlic. We're going to get that started, get that melted up a little bit. While the asparagus is going on its way so just kind of stick that over in the corner there i am going to turn this burner off because that asparagus is actually going coming along quite nicely a little bit faster than i thought it was going to which is fine And I am going to move it towards the front of my griddle. And on most of these black stones, you're going to find that the front of your griddle burns not as hot as the rest of it. And the reason for that is because the burner tubes, the tube itself does go the full length here, but the holes in the tube actually start right about here. You can actually kind of see where my seasoning line looks different. And right where that starts is really where the most of the heat is at. So if you move anything towards the front, that's a good opportunity for a cooling zone. So between having this burner off and having these forward, those should stay put no problem. Get this butter melted up a little bit. 
kind of bring it in. The other thing that you'll find is that the very edges of the griddle tend not to burn quite as hot as the middle section. That's handy information to have if, if you do have one of these. There have been two or three people so far that I know that I don't want to say I've gotten them into griddling, but put it this way. I posted videos of the griddle and then they bought griddles. So maybe it had something to do with it. If you're watching, you know who I'm talking about. You know who you are. Also, if you guys have any feedback on this new microphone that I'm using, uh, let me know because I'm trying it for the first time just tonight. And uh, I want to know if the clarity is any good or if it's too loud. I, don't, I can figure out, maybe I can figure out how to tone it down. I'm not really sure. But just trying something new. Not really... Uh, a high production situation I have going on here, but uh, you know, just something different to try. So now we are going to oil, spread that around a little bit. Give these guys a look before I get too involved with something else. Yeah, those are going nice. Those will be great. I like asparagus. I know it makes your peas stink and everything, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the sake of, uh, I mean, it's hard enough to get me to eat veggies and seeing as how I do, in fact, like asparagus. That's a, that's a win, I think. So, time for the fish. We've got Alaskan salmon. Okay. I don't know if there's anything special about it. Probably not, but... That's what we're putting down. This has been pre-seasoned with uh, Old Bay pepper. Uh, let's see, what else? It was Old Bay pepper, salt, and paprika. So, oh yeah, no kidding. Hence the, the color. You know, that's why it's so dark. So skin side down first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of base them as we go. We're just going to pour over a little bit there. Don't want to use it all up right off the bat. Move them around a little bit. Make sure you get all that skin nice and nice and flavored up. If a little bit of the skin sticks to the flat top, it's, it's not that big a deal. That's plenty warm, so I'm going to take it off the heat for right now. I'm also going to shut this burner off. So these two right-hand burners are on off. Okay, as we go here, I'm going to pull out a couple little tricks. Not tricks. I'm trying to get fancy with it, so, you know. Here, there's some rosemary. That looks nice, doesn't you think? I think it looks nice. That, we're also going to do some lemon. Just a quick squeeze. I do have a little bit more garlic, so I'm going to use it on the asparagus. So there's definitely lots of garlic in this cook. All right, let's take a look. About a minute has gone by. These are looking nice. They'll still have a little bit of snap to them, which is cool. They're not totally soggy or anything, so I like that. And let's see what this fish is all about. Man, that looks good. All right, now we're talking. Ooh, crispy already. I like it. Boom. And boom. Get that rosemary back in there. Nice and aromatic. That really smells good. And I can't wait for smell of vision. So what we're gonna do, paste a little bit more of the garlic on here, like this. 
spread it out just as evenly as you can. That's that. And we're going to go ahead and baste these bad boys. Move these around a little bit. See if I can get a tiny bit of crisp on them, maybe. So what I'm going to do for right now is I'm actually going to get my rice going because it's, it's already cooked and you'll see what I mean in a minute. And I know from somebody, I'm, I'm probably going to get grief for this, but what I'm doing with the rice is first oil, per usual. We're also going to put a couple pads of butter down. And again, these two burners are on off, so there's just enough heat in here to do what I'm trying to do here. And this is what I'm doing. So if you want to go ahead and give me a hard time for doing this, that's fine. I get it. But, you know, it's, it's easy. And long grain wild rice is delicious. So I don't really care how I get it as long as I get it. So we're going to get that right on the butter. Yep, this is sacrilegious. I know, I know. But it works pretty well. Let's take a look at these, see how they're doing. I'm going to go ahead and flip this one over. Wow, that looks nice. That looks really nice. They're a little bit spongy, which is good. So what we're going to do about that is, first of all, let me get a little bit of this rice kind of buttered up here i kind of do want to pick up a little bit of the flavor from the salmon because i just like the flavor of salmon i guess i'm i'm from new england as i'm sure most of you know and this is this is kind of how like there's new england style seafood right the kind that you might get at like legal seafood or any like place in boston or something like that but then there's the type of seafood, New England seafood, that just regular New Englanders make. And that is this. That's what we're doing. I wouldn't call it more authentic. It's just the way we do it. You know, untrained chef. So we are going to take these off. Stick them over on my acacia wood cutting board here that I picked up at like a thrift store for, I don't know, I think it was like $10 or something. We do have a bunch of garlic still here. It's a little burnt. That's fine. This rosemary, eh, that can go down the chute. That's okay. Get some of this rice going. And I did turn these two burners down to low. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's where they're at right now. We're not going for fried rice. We're just going to basically whatever what would have happened in the, the 90 second microwave bag of rice in the microwave we're, we're just making that happen on the flash off here that's all again yes it's cheating but it is also delicious clean up a little bit of this oil as we go okay so the asparagus i'm gonna call it pretty good and I might need the help of another spat here. I don't think I'll be able to get them all off in one shot, but we'll give it the old college try. Oh, get back here. You too. You can't get away. Give it, oh, look at that. I might have it. All right. Lay that down here. Stack these all up nice. I know you can't really see what I'm doing over here, but trust me, it's cool kill all of our heat so these two remaining burners are going to be on off so everything is now off this rice we're going to collect it i don't want that rosemary in my rice we're going to collect this rice and we are going to put it on our little this isn't really a serving tray so to speak it's just where i'm putting all the food because Let's face it, I'm going to take some pictures after this, and I want it to look, you know, like on a nice board. I don't want to just plate it right away. I want to have it look presentable for a couple of, for a big photo shoot, right? 
after the cook. And that'll be, uh, that'll look nice. So everything is kind of tucked up here and, and that's what we got, uh, that's what we got going on for tonight. So we got salmon. That looks awesome. Asparagus and wild rice. So if you guys, uh, enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. Subscribe if you're not. And if you don't want to, don't. That's fine too. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm not really an expert. I'm just some guy with a, with a griddle. But if you have any questions, I'd be happy to see if I could help. So leave a comment. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.